Hi friends, uh, thanks for again visiting my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. Uh, I'm your friend Namun Shakti Vail. Today we'll see an interesting topic uh, where uh, you know we have to generate uh, multiple reports. Say for some reason, some bad reasons. Okay, um, your your client want to see or your developer wants to see only the failed test cases. Okay, he is not interested in you know seeing a report of 500 test cases, which is having 480 passed and 20 failed test cases. Instead, they are interested to create only the failed test cases. Okay, in that case, you know, previously we used to do a lot of coding to to achieve this, but now extent reports in their 5.0.5, I think uh, they have uh, you know released a good feature you know uh, to create multiple reports as well as you know to filter out only the specific test cases you need okay let's see so this is a basic code that we have and if you are directly coming to this part maybe you need to check the previous two parts before coming here but i'll try to do enough justice if you are not watching that anyway so so this is the code that we have used to generate the report in this particular you know uh, a root folder uh, with the name of index.html and this is this is the you know the default setting that i want my report to have i'm attaching my spark reporter to the extent so that you know all the logs that i'm writing to the extent will, will get you know registered in the spark html you know a spark reporter good we have created two test cases one 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 got passed and another one got failed and we also see how to you know flush the reports and open the report automatically using your java code now uh, let's 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 like previously i told we have a requirement that uh, you know i want to, i want to generate two different reports one to you know the first report to have all the tests irrespective you know, of the test status whether it is pass or fail doesn't matter i want all of them to be logged in one report let's say i want to create it in index.html and then the second requirement is i want to have only the failed test because uh, you know my developer told hey i just want only one you know one report which is having just a failed okay and this this we are going to create with the help of maybe with the name of failed test hyphen index.html you can give, give whatever the name you want but our requirement what we're going to achieve is to have two different reports okay so first we have extend spark reporter that that will that we already saw it will it will create us all the test cases with the name of index.html so we already have this now i want to create one more report okay that needs to have that needs to meet this particular criteria so let's see now i want to create x save html file so Maybe I can fail the spark, okay, or whatever the name you want to give. New extend spark reporter, okay, and then the path. And I want to give the name this, okay, give the name like this. And most importantly, you can you can do a lot of you know operations after this. So I just want to filter only certain set of tests. So just type filter, okay. This method will help me to filter only a particular set of tests. Okay, put a dot again and then check. There are only few options available. If you notice, I can filter based on the statuses of the test. Okay, that's good. And then what are all the status I want? So you can either pass a list of status or you can set up, you know, or you can pass a simple, uh, you know, array, status array. Let me, let me use this as, okay. So I want to create a new status array. Okay, this status is coming from your, you know. Okay, maybe I, I need to add the, you know. Then if you if you try to import this, it's coming from com dot stock dot extent report, which means whatever the status that you are marking it as a fail in the extent reports, it will be logged here. Okay. Cool. And then I want to have, they have enums for this. So status dot fail. I just want to filter out only this particular thing. Okay, now it's showing error. See, it's it's not returning you an extent reporter, spark reporter. It's giving you different, different return type. So what I have to do, I just need to apply all these rules. So we have applied some rules. It's gonna filter us based on the status of a certain 
you know statuses only the, for now i just want to produce the report which is having only status fake if you also want to include uh, maybe the status dot uh, skip you can also do that so if you also want to you know filter like this you can also do that now this report what you are going to generate will will consist only of two uh, you know statuses that is fail and skip but for now our is you know our case we want to generate only one so that is only fail now we have you know to, uh, created the extend spark reporter object and we also told where we need to generate the report and we also applied the condition what we want to apply now we have applied the default configurations okay uh, for this uh, spark but the for the failed spark we didn't apply anything so by default it will have its own default configuration so if you want to also change them you can also do that we will move this uh, statement above so that it will be little okay i can also apply some uh, configs for this so failed config failed spark config I just want to set uh, just the document title. I don't want to set anything else. Let it be the default. Okay, failed tests. Okay, something like this. Okay, I'm not setting the theme because uh, by default it will be standard theme. So I don't bother about my report name for now. Okay, if you want, you can change them as well. So just add, you know, add a comma, and then you can pass the new extent reporter object. So fail Spark. So if you pass this reference, so it means whatever the logs that you are writing, it it will get you know logged into both these reporters. In the Spark reporter, it will log all your all your pass, fail, skip, everything. But in your failed Spark, it will go into only apply these conditions. So it will only apply uh, or log only the failed test case. So in our case, we have one pass test case, one failed test case. So let's see how it's going to display. again we are only opening this particular you know the all can the report having all the test cases so let me also uh, by default open this as well this the statement will automatically open the reports for you. you don't have to go and refresh the folder and then again open it so now uh, let's try to run and see if everything is working fine So if you see, uh, we have two reports. The, the the first one is index.html. This is containing all the pass and fail tests like we want, and we also have one more report that is failed test hyphen index.html. And if you notice, this is only having the failed test. Okay, this is really cool, guys. So you can filter out again. Don't ask me the exact reasons uh, when people will ask for this, but there are cases, there are scenarios where. your developers or your product owners comes with the weight requirements right i often face these things so so i thought okay oh, why can't we you know uh, create a video about this okay i hope you all have enjoyed the video have a good day bye